everyone welcome to my channel lovingly me my name is Jenny so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby basic baby booties um, or baby shoes this is for size 3 to 6 months this is how it looks like um, this going to be four videos of four separate size I recently uploaded 0 to 3 month size and in this video um, I'm going to show you how to crochet three to six months and I will have um, six to nine months and nine to twelve months upload very soon so before we start I'm going to show you the measurement this is from heel to toe three to six months is four inches four inches and the height is two inches okay so the yarn that I'm going to be using in this video the same as the yarn that I used in my um, zero to three months tutorial this is a medium weight yarn number four and for the crochet hook 3.5 millimeter okay just keep in mind that not all medium weight yarn has the same thickness so depending on um, what kind of yarn you use the measurement might be slightly off and also it's depending how tight or how loose you crochet the measurements may be slightly off as well okay so without further ado let's start okay so we're going to start by making a slip knot now once you make your slip knot now we're going to chain 11 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so once you chain 11, now we're going to start round 1. For round 1, we're going to start in the third chain from the crochet hook. So this is the first chain, second chain, and third chain. So in the third chain right here, we're going to make 3 half double crochet stitch one two three okay so once you make three half double crochet next we're going to make two half double crochet one half double crochet in each stitch one right here and one right here okay so next we're going to make five double crochet one in each stitch one two three four five okay so once you made the five double crochet you should have one chain left right here so in this chain we're going to make six double crochet okay all in the same chain one two Three, four, five, six. Okay, so once you made six double crochet, next we're going to make five double crochet, one in each chain. We're going to crochet in the same chain where we did the five double crochet right here. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so next we're going to make two half double crochet, one in each chain. One and two. Okay, so now we're going to make three 
half double crochet in the same chain where we did the three half double crochet early of the round so um, what I normally do is I don't like to see this hole right here the opening what I do is I'm going to bring my hook to one of the stitch and bring the hook in this chain right here or in the hole okay and this is the first half double crochet it's two and three okay so once you're done go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch right here and so far this is how it looks like okay so for round one you should have total of 26 stitches around this is how it looks like so now we're going to do round two for round two we're going to start with chain one this chain one does not count as stitch count so next we're going to make two half double crochet in the next two stitch okay so two half double crochet in the first stitch two half double crochet in the second stitch so first stitch right here one two next stitch two half double crochet as well one two okay so next stitch right here we're going to make two single crochet one and two okay so next we're going to make six single crochet one in each stitch one two three four five six okay so once you make the six single crochet in the next stitch right here we're going to make two single crochet one two okay so in the next stitch we're going to make two half double crochet one and two okay so in the next four stitch one two three four this four stitch right here in each stitch we're going to make two double crochet okay so next stitch right here two double crochet next stitch two double crochet next stitch two double crochet next stitch two double crochet okay so next stitch right here we're going to make two half double crochet okay so next stitch right here we're going to make two single crochet one two okay so next we're going to make six single crochet one in each stitch one two three four five six okay so in the next stitch right here we're going to make two single crochet one two okay so once you're done with two single crochet right here you should have two stitch left so in each of these stitch you're going to make two half double crochet okay so next stitch two half double crochet one two the next stitch two half double crochet as well one two now go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch so we're done with the sole right here so for round two you should have total of 
40 stitches around and for the sole you should get about four inches okay so now we're going to do round three so for round three this is round three right here for round three we're going to start with chain one this chain one does not count as stitch count um, now we're going to make 40 half double crochet stitch around so basically you're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch and all the stitch we're going to crochet in the back loop okay so this is the regular stitch and we're going to crochet in the back loop only okay back loop Okay, so go ahead, finish up round three. You're going to make 40 half double crochet stitch around and all the stitches you're going to crochet in the back loop only. Okay, I'll see you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done round three, go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch. And so far, this is how it looks like. Okay, so next round, round four, we're going to do eight stitch decrease at the front right here. So before I start the decrease round, I just want to make sure my beginning loop is at the center. As you can see, this is not center. This is the center right here, the, the chain where we start. And my loop is slightly off to this, this side right here. I'm going to slip one stitch forward okay it's very important that your beginning stitch is at the center so that your decrease right here it's center as well now we're going to start with chain one this chain one does not turn a stitch count next we're going to make 12 single crochet one single crochet in each stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so after you made twelve single crochet, next we're going to make one half double crochet decrease. So for the decrease, we're going to use up two stitch and to do half double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Now yarn over, hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have five loops on your crochet hook. Now go ahead, yarn over and pull the yarn through all five loops okay so this is the first decrease half double crochet decrease so next we're going to make six double crochet decrease and to make double crochet decrease you're going to yarn over hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you have three loops on your crochet hook now yarn over and bring the yarn through the first and second loop next you're going to yarn over hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now you have four loops on your crochet hook next yarn over bring the yarn through first and second loop now you have three loops on your crochet hook now you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through all three loops okay so you made the first double crochet decrease now we're going to do the second double crochet decrease next this is decrease double crochet decrease number three next this is double crochet decrease number four
this is double crochet decrease number five and next this is double crochet decrease number six okay so so far we made total of seven decrease one half double crochet decrease right here and six double crochet decrease so this is one two three four five six seven okay so we're going to do the last decrease you're going to do half double crochet decrease okay so done with the front part right here where we made total of eight decrease so next we're going to make 12 single crochet one in each stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so once you're done go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch right here okay so done with round four round four you should have total of 32 stitches around and so far this is how it looks like okay so now we're going to start round five so before you start every decrease round just to make sure that your stitch is at the center so as you can see this is center now we're going to start with chain one this chain one does not count as stitch count and now we're going to make 10 single crochet one in each stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so after you made ten single crochet next we're going to do one half double crochet decrease so next we're going to make four double crochet decrease okay so this is double crochet decrease number one double crochet decrease number two double crochet decrease number three and this is double crochet decrease number four okay so after you made four double crochet decrease Next, we're going to do the last decrease, um, which is half double crochet decrease. Okay, so at the front right here, we made total of six decrease, one half double crochet decrease, four double crochet decrease, and one half double crochet decrease. Okay, so next we're going to make 10 single crochet one in each stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so next you're going to slip stitch in the first stitch to finish up round five so for round five you should have total of 26 stitches around and so far this is how it looks like okay so now we're going to start round six for round six we're going to make two stitch decrease at the front right here and before we start just to make sure that the beginning stitch is at the center so as you can see this is center okay so now we're going to start with chain one 
chain one does not count as stitch count so now we're going to make 11 single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so after you made 11 single crochet next you're going to make two half double crochet decrease okay so the first half double crochet decrease is right here okay next you're going to make the second half double crochet decrease okay so we made two decrease one here and one here so next we're going to make 11 single crochet one single crochet in each stitch all the way till the very last stitch okay so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so once you're done go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch right here so for round six you should have total of 24 stitches around and so far this is how it looks like now for the next two round round seven and round eight each round you're going to start with chain one and you're going to make 24 half double crochet stitch around okay so basically you're going to crochet one half double crochet in each stitch okay so round seven and round eight is right here okay so go ahead and finish up round seven round eight and i'll see you once you're done Okay, so once you're done crochet round 7 and round 8, now we're going to do the last round, which is round 9. We're going to start with chain 1. This chain 1 does not count as stitch count. And we're going to make 24 single crochet around. So basically one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, this is the last round, which is the single crochet round. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 9, make 24 single crochet stitch around, and I'll see you once again. Okay, so once you're done round 9, go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch. You're going to chain 1 to secure stitches, and you're going to cut the yarn. Just cut enough for you to weave in ends. You can use needle to weave in your ends or a smaller crochet hook. I prefer to use smaller crochet hook. Okay, so I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. If you have any question, leave your question at the comment section down below. I will try my very best to reply. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with your fellow crochet friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care everyone. God bless and bye.